This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Tofaya Vets. This video is on entropion, a medical condition that can occur in humans or animals. We will be focusing on entropion in a chow chow. Entropion is a medical condition when the eyelids fold inwards, causing eyelashes and fur to constantly rub against the eyeball, irritating it. Over time, this can lead to ulcers forming on the cornea, causing pain and decrease or even loss of vision. This is a common problem for dogs. So how do I know if my dog has entropion? The most obvious symptom is squinting and excessive discharge from the eye, as well as visible inflammation of the inner eye. It is important to look out for these symptoms, as entropion can lead to infection and eventually blindness. So what causes entropion? While any dog can get entropion from a genetic defect passed down from their parents, some species bred to have short snouts and foldings in the face, such as pups and chows, are especially susceptible to this. Entropion can also occur as a side effect from other issues, such as eyelid scarring or infection. Normally, most cases of entropion will show itself by 6 to 12 months of age. However, cases of entropion, known as acquired entropion, can occur during any period of the dog's life. This form of entropion can be caused by old age, muscle problems, injury, and many other issues. It can cause the inward rolling of both the upper eyelid and the lower eyelid, but it is more common for the lower eyelid. This condition is usually more common in older dogs. In this case, this is a Sharpe that has acquired entropion two weeks ago, but had no entropion three weeks before the video was taken. This is a picture taken prior to the dog acquiring, acquiring entropion. Now, the dog is in constant pain and is lethargic. The hot Celsius procedure is used in this entropion repair. First, a forceps is used to pull up the excess skin to estimate how much skin needs to be removed. Next, the skin is cut along the length of the entropion and a piece of skin is removed. Then, the wound is closed with simple skin sutures. This is the final product of the procedure. The eyelid is pulled away from the eyeball, preventing the inrolling of the eyelids. The surgical procedure to correct entropion involves reshaping the eyelids to prevent inrolling. Firstly, the dog is injected with an anesthetic drug. After the dog has settled, it is given anesthetic gas and its breathing is controlled. Saline solution is then sprayed onto the incision site to remove foreign objects and blood. After that, the size of a crescent-shaped piece of skin is estimated in the area of entropion and cut out from the eyelid. The wound is then closed by sewing both ends of the wound together into its proper outward turning position. Goes up, the eyelids have been rolled outwards and actually you can see very uh, much clearer, you can see his, his eyes. and. Uh, so far, so good. Instead of half closed, or actually his eyes were three quarter closed. After surgery, the dog should be allowed to quietly rest to prevent trauma to the surgical area. An e collar should be given to prevent the dog from scratching the area and accidentally removing the stitches. The only way to avoid entropion is for breeders to avoid breeding dogs which possess entropion because it is a genetic defect. 
entropy from external sources cannot be prevented, and the only permanent treatment available is surgery. That being said, early treatment is crucial for your pet. Without treatment, scar tissue will build up over the ulcer, permanently obscuring vision. This can eventually cause blindness to your dog. If entropion is severe, it can completely block the vision of your dog, causing it to accidentally knock into furniture in the house and injure itself. Entropion can also cause much discomfort to your dog as the ulcers that form cause pain to it.